Welcome back to another tutorial and in today's video I will offer a few different ways of resizing artboards in Photoshop. A few months ago I created a video on how to use artboards in Photoshop. I briefly showed one method for resizing the artboards but I should have shown you other methods. There are always different ways and there's no right or wrong way as long as you get the results you want. Let's open up Photoshop. Let's create a new document. Make sure you check mark artboard on to create a document with artboards. You will know if you have created an artboard when you see the artboard name shown here. In the tools panel, click at the icon to select the artboard tool. Keyboard shortcut V behind the move tool. Resize the artboard if necessary. From the two options bar, select a preset size from the size pop-up menu. Or enter dimension in the fields here. Open the artboard panel. Go to the main menu, Window, Properties, and the panel should say Artboard. In this panel, you have the option to either turn the link on or off. If you turn it off, you can add the width or height, which won't affect one another. If you have the link on, the artboard size will be resized proportionally. Or select a preset size from the Size pop up menu. Another way to resize the artboard with the artboard tool, keyboard shortcut V behind the move tool. Once you see the plus sign in the circle symbol, place the artboard tool on the edge of the artboard, horizontal or vertical to the circle symbol to resize the artboard. Remember where those circles are? With the move tool, keyboard shortcut V behind the artboard tool, the circles are hidden. Trust me, and they are there. You can resize the artboards the same way as you can with the artboard tool. You have multiple artboards that need resizing. Select multiple artboards in the layers panel first. Then select the artboard tool, keyboard shortcut V behind the artboard tool, and change the size in the dimensions field and properties. Or from the two options bars, enter dimension in the fields here. Yes, there is another way that I haven't mentioned is the new artboard to layers. I prefer the methods that I have mentioned as it's quick and easy. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.